Hey guys, Catherine Shelton. I just wanted to do a quick screen share to share with you one of the most awesome tools for market research. Um, and it's something that not a lot of people seem to be using or talking about. And it's really, really powerful, but it's kind of a hidden gem. Uh, and this tool is Google Correlate. And I think it's awesome if you're doing bundles, if you're doing seasonal products, or if you want to find keywords or you're just brainstorming for product ideas. And I'm going to show you how it works. Um, first of all, you might be familiar with Google Trends. So Google Trends is right here. It's just at google.com slash trends. And what Google Trends does it is it tells you about a lot of uh, things that people are searching for right now. So it gives you a feel for what popular stories are, what people are searching for with those popular stories, and where people are searching. So if we go to, say, Flint water crisis, um, it gives you data like what are the top questions being asked about this? What are the cities um, that are most searching for lead water? And it just gives you all these related searches. So this is actually a really useful tool in itself, but most of us are, are, are a little bit familiar with Google Trends or have seen it before. Um, and it's a really easy site to navigate. Uh, you can really just explore it and, and get a feel for how it works. What's a little bit less known is Google Correlate. And you get there by going open menu. And if you scroll down do, 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 past the trending searches, um, you'll see Google Correlate is right here. So we click that, um, we go to Correlate, and you get this screen, which looks a little bit boring, looks a little bit academic, a little bit scary, uh, but actually it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to show you how it works. Let's do a search for something like uh, Easter egg. That's, that's a simple thing to search for. It's March at the moment when I'm making this video. So let's look up Easter egg. And it gives you all these suggestions. Easter brunch, Easter buffet, Easter food, um, Easter menu. And if we open it up a little bit more, there's a couple of weird ones like Christmas, um, peanut, butter East, peanut butter eggs, Jamaican Easter bun, um, mostly Easter uh, related things. But I'll show you where it's drawing this data from. It's not just searching the word Easter. Instead, what it's doing is looking at searches over time. So there's about 10 years of data here. Uh, if we look here, this is 2004 um, through to 2016. So actually, it's a bit more than 10 years of data. It's like 12 years of data. And if we zoom in a little bit here, uh, you'll see how this works. So 2008 there's a spike in searches for Easter egg. Then there's a spike again here and a spike again here. And I think you can see what's happening around March, April time, there's this spike in people searching for Easter eggs. And it's basically a pattern. When people are searching for Easter or Easter egg, uh, they're also searching for these things like Easter brunch, Easter buffet. This is really useful to me because now I know these are keywords. People are actually searching brunch and buffet around the same time they're searching for Easter eggs. This is very useful to me if I'm listing Easter products you can eat. On Amazon, people might actually be looking for foods they can cook for Easter. Um, so this is really helpful just in itself that I can see uh, what correlates with Easter egg. But also, and let's do a search for something like sunscreen. That would be a good one to search. So let's take a look at uh, sunscreen and see what people search for around the same time as sunscreen. So down here, you can see the correlation map. And at this time, I'm guessing people look for sunscreen in the summer. They do. Look at this. So you can see like the peak time um, for people searching for sunscreen is probably coming into June, July. Uh, which is good to know, actually, if that's something we're going to sell. But what you can see is pe what people search for at the same time as sunscreen. Baby pool, um, natural sunscreen, sand filter, pool skimmer, lots of pool-related words. Swim diapers, men's sandals. And another one we could try is like a beach towel. Let's, let's try beach towel, see what comes up. Um, and if we do beach towel, now this is where it gets really interesting. Beach bag men's sandals. These are beach toads. These are like bundle ideas. If people are searching for beach towel around the same time they're searching for beach towel, 
which appears to be kind of May, June. Um, they are also looking for these things, beach bag, beach tote, swimming lessons. This can give you so many ideas for products to sell, um, for ways to list your product, for ways to market your product and for bundles. Um, and what gets even more interesting with this um, is that you can look for uh, these searches in other countries. So we can look for beach towel in the United Kingdom and we get gazebo and pop-up gazebo um, because people are scared of going out to the beach and showing too much so they all hide in gazebos I guess. Um, I don't know. Tankini also there. Camping bed. So you get quite different results. Let's see what sunscreen brings up in the UK. So you search correlations in the UK for sunscreen and you get deck chairs, sun lounges. Like it's quite a different search. And you can do this for lots of other countries as well. And it, it, it's really quite fascinating what people are searching for. Um, I looked at Easter egg in the UK and it brought up Simnel cake at the same time, which doesn't show up in the US results. But you know a lot of expat Brits might be interested in Simnel cake. So this is just a great place to go to brainstorm product ideas and also get some ideas of keywords you can use that are relevant to your product and that people might be searching for around the same time. Cool, hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this tip, please check out my new course, Blue Sky Create. It's at blueskysuite.com and it's all about white label, self-publishing and putting together your own products to sell on Amazon. It's an awesome course, it's full of information. Bye.